Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosos Jr. ordered by the IBF and Knuckleheads. I do believe this is the next fight for Teofimo Lopez at 135 pounds. Now, there's at least two reasons, right, why I don't like the fact that this fight is happening next, and I'm going to go through those with you. First and foremost, and we discussed this the day before yesterday, Vasil Lomachenko. Listen, this is a guy who's done so much in boxing, who's impressed us so much and earned the respect of the boxing public. And in his loss to Teofimo Lopez, I thought he still did a good enough job to warrant a rematch. Listen, I scored the fight a draw. Andre Ward scored the fight a draw. You may disagree. And I'll say this, I was okay with Teofimo winning. I would have been okay with it going one point either way or a draw. But that being said, I didn't think Teofimo Lopez did such an outstanding job against Lomachenko that Lomachenko doesn't warrant a rematch. No, no. That is some ducking BS, in my opinion. I said that the day before yesterday, and I stand on that square. Listen, most of you guys agreed with me on the channel. Two or three fanboys had a fit. I want to tell those fanboys and everybody else who disagrees that Teofimo's ducking, articulate your reasoning in the comments below. Your opinions are welcome. All opinions are welcome on this channel. We don't care where you're from or what you look like, as long as you come correct and with respect. For me, I at least owe Knucklehead Nation a respectful atmosphere to discuss without being insulted and people getting triggered. So that's all I ask. Articulate below, but for me, Vasil Lomachenko deserves the rematch, and that's reason number one. Reason number two, George Kimbosos Jr. I mean, is this guy deserving of being in there with Teofimo Lopez? Let me give you my answer very straight up. Absolutely not. Listen, who did this guy beat in his last fight? He fought Lee Selby. And in the fight before that, he fought Mickey Bay. Those are the biggest names on George Kimbosos Jr.'s resume. I want to add that when he fought Mickey Bay, it was a scheduled 10-round bout. And he won by split decision. Okay, he beat Mickey Bay by split decision. No disrespect to Mickey Bay, but that's not a world beater, ladies and gentlemen. In his last fight in October, he fought Lee Selby. And again, in my opinion, well, first and foremost, he won that fight by split decision. But again, in my opinion, and I said this before and I pissed off a lot of Australian fans, which was not my intent, I thought he clearly lost to Lee Selby in that fight where he got the split decision. I think he got the split decision because he's a young, brash, upcoming star. But did he deserve that win against Lee Selby? Can I say he deserved that as an objective boxing fan? Absolutely not. And people will say, oh, you're a hater. That's what they said to me when I said Teofimo was ducking, Lomachenko. And oh, you're a hater. Because, you know, I, I thought George Kambosos Jr. didn't deserve that win. But listen, the people that got pissed off for me about that were Australians. No disrespect to Australia. I'm an American. I, I'm not from Australia and I'm not from the UK where Lee Selby is from or wherever he's from. I don't have no skin in the game. I look at it and I tell you what I think. And I thought, based on my knowledge of boxing criteria and scoring, which I understand very well as a lawyer and as a promoter in the sport of kickboxing, Lee Selby clearly won that fight. Clearly. Clearly. It wasn't even that close, in my opinion. I thought he clearly won that fight. But anyway... And the same thing for Teofimo Lopez when I said he's ducking. Listen, I'm not from the Ukraine where Vasil Lomachenko is from. I'm from the United States where Teo is from. And, you know, if I'm being matter of fact, I actually like Teo a little bit better than Lomachenko because he's my countryman and because he's super exciting and he's athletic. I like the guy, you know. Am I a fan of Lomachenko as well? Yes. But I never let my fanboy emotions, the way a lot of people 
who've come on this channel and started crying get the better of me right we got to call it like it is otherwise we get a corrupt sport and anything once the bias creeps in it's over we've been seeing that a lot in the news lately the biggest strength of a man is to be able to stay impartial remember i'm telling you that so anyway back to my point my second reason is i don't think Kembosos deserves this fight and if i'm being honest with you guys i think he gets crushed if he fights teofimo lopez i could be wrong give the kid his shot if they're gonna give the kid his shot i'm fine with it but you better give Vasil Lomachenko the shot after that or move up to 140 because it's just looking bad. It's just looking bad if you say no to Lomachenko and you fight Cambosos, who just got off a split decision, you know, 10-rounder with Mickey Bay and a 12-rounder with Lee Selby. Also, let me add to that. Cambosos has had two 12-round fights. Two in his entire career have been scheduled for 12 rounds i mean this guy is not ready in my opinion for teofimo lopez could he get there maybe with a little bit more experience but right now a split decision over mickey bay followed by a split decision over lee selby that you clearly lost and you're gonna go in there against teofimo lopez the best guy at 135 pounds bro let me tell you guys I don't know what to say anymore about this sport. I mean, I don't. This sport's just ridiculous at this point. I mean, they've allowed the the, the boxing business culture to just devolve into a into a damn free for all, and that's something that I've been arguing about and fighting against on this channel forever, and something I plan to keep away from our own fighters rep promotions. Listen, and I'm going to point to you exactly the cause. It's this obsession with an undefeated record that's the cause of all this that's the cause of all this this obsession in american culture for whatever reason of guys being undefeated go in there fight the best if you lose you lose teach the boxing public that they're still to be respected fighters are still to be respected if they lose but no instead of doing that they try to avoid a loss they try to avoid tough fights they manufacture these records and you get what you get. You get a guy in Lomachenko who was an absolute phenom and des deserves a rematch, not getting one. And you get a guy in Combosos who may have potential at some point to be a champ, but is not there yet. And he's going to get fed. He's going to get fed to Teofimo Lopez. And when that fight happens, I want you haters back on here and I want to hear what you have to say. So anyway, knuckleheads. Leave your comments about this situation below. I want to know what you guys think about this situation. If Kambosos deserves this fight or if Lomachenko deserves this fight. Leave that comment below. Hit the like button if you're not a fanboy hater. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon next to it. Join Knucklehead Nation, the most educated fight channel on YouTube. And hit that join button below, man, for just $5 a month. You help me build this channel, which is absolutely necessary to keep all this bullshit out the fight game. Plus, you'll help me build Fighters Rep Promotions, the only kickboxing promotion that matters right now. We're going to get back to it in 21 and give, 2021 and give you guys some fantastic fights. If you want to join me on that journey, hit that join button. You won't see it on your Apple device. You'll have to go on a PC, but if you're on an Android device, you'll see it. $5 a month. You get access to our live fights. You get monthly memberships. For members only, where we discuss the progress of the show, you get discounts to Fighters Rep merchandise, which you can buy in the link below. Revenue gets reinvested back into the promotion. You get an emblem next to your name, showing people you're an official knucklehead, and you also get shout-outs on the channel. Much love to Knucklehead Nation. Please help us grow. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this one.